constructing the toilet. The base is carefully placed on top of and aligned with the collar. If it is a round pit, the collar will be in the center of the base. If it is a square box pit, it will align with the edges. On the base is an imprint of where the toilet seat, back and side walls go. This will also indicate to you which way the door must face. Check that the base is level and if it is not true, then insert more soil under the side that is lower. Soil is removed from under the mounting holes so that access can be gained to tighten the nuts. Screw the threaded rods into the pre-prepared threaded holes. These should be screwed in with 20 millimeters or so to spare. Start with the back panel. The threaded rod, which was screwed at the bottom, is carefully aligned with the hole on the base and slowly lifted into place on the imprint of the base. The side walls follow the same procedure. The panels are secured to each other with a washer and nut. The wall panels are screwed to the base, one from inside and two in front under the base. The roof panels slip over the threaded rods protruding from the wall panels. The door is fitted into the bottom of a hinge hole and then the roof is lifted slightly so that the door can be fitted into the hinge hole on the top. A racket is mounted to the back panel threaded rod which will help secure the breeder pipe clamp to the toilet. The roof can now be tightened down. The breed pipe is then inserted into the base and secured to the bracket top with a clamp. The water bottle and soap holder is fixed to the side panel with two bolts. The alignment of the door is checked. If the door does not align with the door catch, a special tool is used to align the door by bending it at the bottom and at the top if necessary. The toilet seat is then fitted into the hole on the base.